Hi there and welcome to the Smart Human video blog. Today we are going to discuss simple ways to reduce exposure and actively get rid of harmful chemicals in our bodies. Cleansing or detoxing from chemicals can be a real struggle. We are all inundated with thousands of chemicals on a daily basis. Many of these chemicals have been found to be harmful to human health in laboratory studies and can have short and long-term health effects, especially for young children and pregnant moms carrying a growing fetus. Despite health concerns, only five chemicals have been taken off the market in the U.S. since 1976. So it's up to us as individuals and smart consumers to reduce our exposures and to work safely to eliminate them from our bodies. So here are a few recommendations I have. Number one, try to avoid harmful chemicals in the first place. Don't buy products such as air fresheners, carpet powders, synthetic cleaning products, unvetted personal care products, foods with preservatives and other additives, and bring them into your home or workplace. If you don't buy them, they can't get into you. Number two, drink clean water. No matter whether your home drinking water comes from an in-ground well or from municipal water treatment plant, many U.S. households have drinking water that is contaminated. We have the greatest ability to avoid drinking water contaminants by cleaning our drinking water at the point of use, which is at the faucet. So consider adding a basic carbon filter to your life, such as a pitcher or a refrigerator door filter, and make sure you change it regularly. If you use city water, check your annual water report. Avoid drinking water from plastic water bottles, sports bottles, whenever possible, because these plastic chemicals can leach into the water they're carrying. And if they say BPA-free, it often means they've been replaced with substitute chemicals like BPS or BPFB. So stick to stainless steel or glass. And find a filter that works for you and fill up at home. Number three, exercise more. Many chemicals are lipophilic, which means they love to get into our fat cells. So by exercising regularly and increasing blood flow to our liver and kidneys and mobilizing those fat cells where chemicals are stored, we can actually harness our body's natural ability to eliminate chemicals. Number four, sleep. I recommend improving both the quality and quantity of sleep in order to allow the brain to eliminate chemicals. It was recently discovered that the brain has fluid around it, like a lymphatic system, that surrounds the brain and works to clear chemicals during various stages of sleep. So the more you allow yourself to sleep and the better quality of sleep you have, the more efficiently you can remove unwanted contaminants from your body. Create a peaceful bedtime routine. Turn off technology an hour before bedtime. Keep your bedroom cool, dark, and free of stress by removing homework or bills from your bedroom. Here are the re recommended hours of sleep by age group from the National Institutes of Health. Number five, eat foods that work to break down chemicals for you and eliminate them, like broccoli, kale, Brussels sprouts, and other cruciferous vegetables. These veggies have sulfur-containing compounds such as glucosinolates, indole-3-carbonyl, and other healthy chemicals that have very strong detoxification prop properties and have been shown to reduce the risk of breast, colon, and lung cancers. I share these prevention tips and more on thesmarthuman.com and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for joining me. I'm Dr. Ailey Cohen, and you too can be the smart human.